Dr. Maponya believed in the value of hard work and set an example for all of us about what can be achieved when you are willing to invest in time and effort to make it happen. Dr. Maponya demonstrated to me as a young man fighting against a system that did not want me to succeed that anything was possible. I came to see his success as a challenge to myself to do better, to be better, and to live better. Today, as, as I reflect on the legacy of this great man, I'm proud to say that I've followed on his footsteps. I've modeled my approach to my professional life, my family, on the example set by Dr. Maponya. Dr. Maponya opened my eyes to my own personal potential. He made me believe that every, anything is possible through hard work and determination. For that, I will forever be grateful. Culture. Dr. Maponya believed that agriculture was the solution to poverty eradication. Dr. Maponya believed so much in me that I remember he used to tell me stories of him chauffeuring the late Dr. Mandela from the airport to his home. And little did he know that he did the same for me. Papa summoned that the mic to say, take this girl to my farm in Mahalis. Give her an opportunity to learn as much as possible. I want to see her become commercial. Papa believed in me so much that I would like to challenge all businessmen to do the same. Papa had a heart of gold. I sit here and listen to everyone speak and I feel that we should have honored Papa as I listen now to the previous speaker say they would love to name the learning center after Baba, but I think he would have been proud to listen to it as appeal. You fought long and long and hard to be with us. We know now you watch over us and protect us. Although we cannot hear your voice or see your smiling face, we know deep down in our hearts that you have not left us. We are our great grandfather's garden. We are his legacy. Thank you, Coco. We love you.